Oh, Aquarius, happy July. Okay, so how we're doing the readings now. Each card you may relate to. So this is a general reading, so I'm not doing it as a full reading. So all of you Aquarius out there will relate to one card. Then I'll pull a card for um, the two last weeks in July, okay? I'll also do it for this for the weekend as well okay so before the the two last week so you'll see it as we go i'll call out the dates so july was a very and is a very powerful month with the solar eclipse the lunar eclipse which is which is a great time to get into alignment and if you miss that opportunity then um and i didn't say it in the capricorn video but august has two new moons and a full moon so it's a great time to use the full moon to charge yourself your energy um, if, especially when you feel depleted from work, life, yourself. <laughs> and uh, the new moon is a great time to start something new. Okay? So starting a new cycle. The new moon is a new cycle of the month. Every new moon is a new month that has started. Okay? So let's get it started. All right. So the first card, and I'll, be, I'll also be pulling from the playing cards. All right. So Ace of swords is reverse and when ace of swords is reverse this is a message that you're not in your true power you feel like you you, you can't think straight and you basically have no clarity and you're searching for victory some kind of win whenever you feel like this it's either it's either both or one you're against yourself or people around you are against your your you succeeding and you find it hard to use your words okay the King of Swords represents authority and being in your strong authority is having power with your words. Okay. And that's where you want to aim for towards. All right. And this allows you to think clearly and, and really having, well, the King of Wands, the King of Wands. Okay. King of Staves. This is having great vision for yourself and being a leader so maybe you're starting your own business maybe you have to maybe you're inspired to do something but you don't have enough money so this is a great time for you to really believe in yourself and use whatever the heck you have around you and start there and, and build there the world card is a major arcana and i like to think of it as a reminder but it's also about you fulfilling something so either you've fulfilled something you're looking for a new goal you know you just accomplished something um, or you're asked to be involved in something that is bigger than you and or yourself you know bigger than your life that will make things better the ace of of coins or ace of pentacles is the sex the success path so you you feel successful about this new endeavor that you're on this new goal that you're on and you know this is like a great card to have on your altar um if you have if you don't have a personal altar for yourself it's best to first have an altar for yourself that you keep clean daily and it doesn't even have to look um esoteric it could just look really um like anything you'll see in a home but something that represents you like an element and a figure and something that's positive okay that's 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 strengthening okay so this ace of coins um aquarius is is about you feeling and knowing you're on a, a path of success the seven of cups it represents and some of you aquarius could relate to this one card or a couple other cards but the ace of cups of the seven of cups is reverse is having no vision for yourself having feeling the need of not wanting anything and that's not a good place to be okay um remembering you are a star remembering your life purpose this is a major arcana stepping in that's saying offering you hope inspiration for yourself and believing in yourself and remembering to have that infinite um this infinite feeling of, of self-power okay all right so the three of cups reverse is being without work not having work maybe being laid off um and just dealing with that cycle okay the next one is the wheel of fortune reverse wheel of fortune reversed it's 
not really feeling like you have any direction again. Maybe you had a little hope and then it was diminished and you're not really moving. You know, there's no ups and downs, it's just stillness and you want to get out of that. The other major arcana is the Emperor card. And the Emperor card <clears throat> or the Empress card is either willingness to be pregnant but not not being pregnant um wanting to have friends and throwing parties or to be taken care of or <clears throat> having someone care for you the way that you care for them or just being adored by someone and not receiving that admir adoration eight of staves eight of staves pops in when things are changing up and things are about to move fast so either you're you have to travel unexpectedly some kind of rush is coming or some kind of change and whenever this pops up and if you shuffle the deck and pull for yourself um maybe pull like 20 cards especially if you're new to tarot you buy um the traditional tarot deck um and you pull and if you do get that out of the 20 it's and you're using your own intuition your own feeling if you feel like you know something's off it's usually a change coming up that will require you to really put in a lot of energy when you weren't expecting it okay the last card is the five of coins boom so the five of coins is like a feeling of being an outcast you were once in and now you're out and you're going through some form of adversity all right and it's like you've lost your chi your energy where you would be you would be feeling like oh everything is going great um now you feel more insecure maybe losing money or just worrying about where you are and where you stand okay so it's time to make a wish or ask a question so you can pause the video if you need more time to think that's the great thing about the recorded video. So. Ace. Okay. So you got the Ace of Clubs. Okay. And the Ace of Clubs is a male energy. It's uh, fire. Um, and it is in the, in the realm of spirit. Okay. It's the, all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The season is spring. The color is yellow. And it's all about passion, action, and creativity. And it's associated with the rods because it's fire, right? So this card is talking about a, a thirst for knowledge or a special talent you have. So either you are seeking your talent or you are... you know that you have a special talent and maybe you're trying to find a way of how to use it for your goal okay so let's look at friday and saturday the 19th and the 20th let's look at that week or that those two days okay so it's the nine of staves and the nine of staves or nine of wands is all about you having to defend yourself being resilient if you will okay and being persistent about something so think about what you feel like you have to defend or be um persistent about and really find a solution for that 21 through the 28 is temperance in reverse okay temperance is a major arcana in reverse it's off balance feeling off balance uh feeling uh weak drained and feeling disconnected all right so with the moon in waning moon uh for the rest of the month uh july 1st i believe will be in waxing moon so right now the moon is furthest from the earth it's time to get rid of things you don't need okay great time to do that and with mercury in retrograde until pretty much august 3rd um when it goes back you know into its normal um viewing from where we are um is normal mo looking motion then is we'll have better communication but for now you want to make sure that you are not doing more than you really feel you should especially when it comes to communicating and just focusing on yourself okay 29 through the 31st 
All right, Aquarius. Okay, it is the chariot. Love it. Okay, so the chariot is really that major arcana that is about your victory, your win, and the process and time it takes to get from one place to the other where you're going, that journey, your will, and um, reminding you of your strength along the way. It's going to require a lot of strength along the way and really gaining your energy, all right? And I don't know, I feel like saying like the full moon, the full moon lunar eclipse in July, July 16th is a great time to charge because Capricorn was in um, Gemini's house, your, your uh, fellow air sign. And the communication is requiring a lot of thought more than action because Mercury's in retrograde and Mercury rules Gemini. And Capricorn was in the third house of Gemini on that lunar eclipse full moon in capricorn so it's a great time to reflect and even now leading up to the the, the new moon on august 1st i want to say um is a great time to really think about what you want to do so that august 3rd you can start that new and, and then you'll kick yourself back into balance so let's see what's for the 29th and 31st Another reverse, the high, the Hierophant, the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is feeling like, some of you might be feeling like I don't need to learn more or do more or be a part of something that you wanted to be a part of that was bigger than you. Maybe you feel like you want to take a step back. Maybe you feel, um, you know, that you just want to figure out what you want for you rather than as a whole, okay? So I think I covered everything. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be adding stories here on YouTube. And what else did I want to say? Uh, find me on Instagram. And I post in the discussion board here. So definitely check that out and click like. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.